Hey everyone, it's another how to God of War Ragnarok tough fight. This is Gana, the Valkyrie Queen, um, Freya's uh, frenemy, turned just straight up enemy. Here we go. So she stands there waiting for you to hit her to start the fight because that's a flex because she is legit tough. She's the opposite of the Berserker King. She is fast as anything, and I did this fight right after I fought the Berserker King, so my reflexes were all off for the first, oh, eight or so tries. This is a tough fight, and it's very, very fast. If you played any of the Valkyrie fights in the original Dad of War, the game before this one, it plays, you'll recognize some of the chain unblockable attacks that you just have to evade, especially that triple, like, death from above that really sucks if you get hit, and I get hit with it a few times. That one, you're supposed to be able to hit it with sonic arrows, but I don't find it helps very much. I just dodge it. There's another one that you have to hit with sigil arrows that interrupts much better. Um, this is a fight of basically don't get hit, and that is easier said than done. She's fast, and her attacks suck, and you'll see that's the... Um, relic I picked up from the Berserker fight, and you see it is super, super helpful. That just did two damage bars right there. And there's the triple attack you will remember from previous Valkyrie fights. That really sucks if you get hit with it. Uh, it hurts a lot. It's a cool visual, but it hurts a lot. And you see you're dodging as if your life depended on it, and you don't get much of a window for those. If you are not quick on the draw, you're in trouble there. The uh, shield parries are different. They're a little slower. So yeah, there's no consistency. And making those double tap shield bashes really important, as you can see. It's the difference between winning and losing the fight. Now this is another fight that really starts to suck in the second half. She gets more and more aggressive. As it goes on, that was the sigil attack, but I countered it so quickly we missed it there. Um, as you notice, the special attacks I did find useful. Not so much because they did a lot of damage, but for me, they just broke up the, the fighting and made me feel better. And so my concentration on the lightning fast attacks was better in the back half, but she still stomps me. It's coming up. I miss a couple. And it's painful. I was really worried there for a minute. As you notice, the spear is probably the best weapon here. But I switch around for those special moves. I don't know if it helped, but it made me feel better. Uh, Valor, again, specially placed, um, is handy. This is the same loadout as the Berserker. There, she caught me there. That freaking hurt. A cool moment where Freya comes in and defends her newfound bro for Kratos. I like that moment. Um... All these tough fights reward you with feels at the end. So wait for the end. It'll be very cool. That stings like a beast if it hits you. Superior Resurrection Stone I'm using here. I don't find the Berserker Stones help a lot because you don't have enough time to recharge with Valor. And you risk taking hits. So Superior Resurrection Stone, highly recommend it. Um, and here we go. We're in the home stretch where all hell breaks bloody loose. And you'll notice that whenever you can press an advantage here, do it. Don't give her one of those. Because if you do, she makes you miserable. Because all she has to get you in is a couple of those nasty grams. And that's all she wrote. So, I was real cautious near the end, because you notice, I'm the queen of super close fights. I fight best when my health bar is almost depleted. I think because I stopped screwing around. But, this was just a good two minutes of don't screw it up. Well, I screwed it up there. I got some Bifrost on me, but I recovered. That was a useful special move. Again, same loaded as the Berserker King fight I did. But this is another one where it j that last health bar just takes forever to wear her down. And I guess I was feeling the spirit or something here. There's no trick to this at this point. It is just don't screw this up. And I didn't, I didn't even wait for that shield bash there. I got very lucky with that. And goodbye, Gna. So 
Now we get an extended feels clip, so I'm gonna sh so you can hear it. You judge me. You, whose cowardice has left entire realms in ruin. Sister, I know the hate that burns you from within. I have felt those flames, known the comfort of their warmth. I wronged you. And I cannot change that. Never apologize enough for it. But the hatred. Vengeance. You have to let go. Yes, sister. I think you know what's coming now. Yeah. Freya. Here we go. Freya and Ned Starks are like a boss. There we go. Well done, Freya. One cut. See... So Defeating the two toughest bosses in this game um, shows you how far the characters have come from the beginning, which is kind of a cool thing. It's not just a combat achievement. You actually get some story. I wish more games did that. Um, and you get an achievement. There you go. And do you get an item? I think you get an item. Yeah, you do. You got to pick it up. Um, but yeah, there is no trick to that fight. Uh, other than the Raven's Tears armor. Oh, there, yeah. Oh, yeah. This armor's gorgeous that you get for Freya. It's stunning. Well, well earned. That is a tough fight. There is really no uh, trick to it. Um, oh, yeah. Freya gets another attack, too. Uh, it is just don't screw up, evade, evade, evade. Um, reflexes of fury. Um... And keep trying until you get it. It is beatable. This is proof. I'm not the best gamer in the world. I just stuck with it. Again, there's the location of the fight. It's a bit weird. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, especially my friend Eileen, who I did this for. Real friends stomp bosses for friends. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, kick me a few bucks on Patreon or coffee. Thanks for watching. Bye.